So I saw this video the other day and I loved it so much that I saved it. I edited it down to a little bit of a shorter version and I want you guys to watch it if you would take the time because she said exactly what I've been saying for years. I'm just gonna let you watch the video and then I'm gonna come on afterwards and say my final thoughts. It's like if we're saying now, hey, if you're assigned, if your assigned sex at birth is female, but you are male, we, we want to be supportive of you getting that surgery so that your outside matches your inside. Yes. If you if you were born and you say, this is not my nose, I just don't feel like me or whatever the your chin or whatever. Maybe we should be supportive of that, too, because isn't that the same thing as I mean, isn't that uh, somehow, in, you know, in, in, at least mildly analogous to, you know, being born with the, you know, being assigned a sex at birth that is not who you are? I mean, listen, when I was um young. I would say, you shouldn't touch your faces. This is the face God gave you. I would never do anything, you know, but then you go like, uh, didn't you have braces when you were 10 or, you know, like, uh, it's not cosmetic often. Do we not support that? I don't know. First of all, getting older is, is I want to embrace it. And in a lot of ways, I love it. I love what I know now. I love how all the things I worried about when I was younger don't matter and realizing that. But getting older is odd. Your face is always changing. Your face changes. Your nose grows. Your ears grows. Aging is not for sissies, as uh, Betty Davis once said. You know, I don't know. It's, it's so hard hard, especially for women, especially for women in show business, because you are fucking spanked for aging. You are hissed about if then you try to do something about it. The stigma of aging is just bananas, at least here in the United States. It's like everything. It ultimately comes down to getting your self-worth from inside and not from outside forces. But fuck, I get it. I mean, I can feel my face slowly sliding off of my skull and it's not awesome. That said, my body works and I'm strong and I'm very, very, very grateful. There are just so many things out there that we could judge people for, but we shouldn't. I think it's human nature to have an opinion if we see somebody's face and we think, oh, why did they do that? But that's not for us to judge. All we should be asking is, are they happy? That's all that matters. And I want you to challenge yourself to not be judgmental. You know, we're human and I do have opinions, but I quickly can check myself now and go, that's not for me to say. And as long as they're happy, that's all that should matter. I'm hoping that this can be contagious. And if we hear somebody else judging another person, woman or man for their choices, that maybe we can kind of help guide them a little bit too and go, you know, that's... It's not for us to say, and and if it makes them feel good and they're not hurting anyone, who cares? So let's be contagious, positive, and non-judgmental. Bye.